My name is Joe Gilson. I'm Director of Mission for the District of Ireland, Great Britain and Malta. This session is titled The Silent Community, Our Vision, Our Passion, Our Future. This is the last of the series of short inputs, which hopefully have con contributed to a warm and heartfelt welcome to the Lesayan family. The Lesayan family, this community that you're part of locally at your school or parcel center, but also nationally and internationally to our district and our global institute. It's a community that strives to keep the students at its center and has educators as its heart. Since the early days of De La Salle and the first uh, band of schoolmasters, the community was a response to a need, a means to achieve a great and noble cause, and a witness to an alternative way to be in the world. Let's take those one by one. First, a response to a need. When De La Salle and his advisors at the time agreed that the project of Adrian Yale to start free schools for the children of Reims was a worthy one which they should support, facilitate and promote, they realized that picking men off the streets and putting them in schools in charge of young people was not going to yield great results. And in fact, their first experiences proved this. So upon further reflection, De La Salle came to realize the importance of bringing these aspiring schoolmasters together to discuss best practice, to share meals, to pray, to have a sense of shared mission and be a community. This togetherness and preparation are still fundamental elements of our Lasallian community today. I described community as a means to achieve a great and noble mission, a just cause. In this context, De La Salle also realized that the purpose of this group society was a broad, pure, aspirational goal, salvation of all. Now that's a big phrase. We don't have the time to go into it during this short input. But I do want to uh, offer you an alternative phrase that maybe can help us move this point along. He wanted, he dreamt that these schools would bring wholeness and holiness to all young people. And he saw education, both human and Christian, as a very effective manner to achieve this. That these young people would grow up to be worthy citizens of the state and faithful members of the church. The community was a means to reach as many children and run as many schools in as many cities in France and beyond. The third um, phrase I used to describe community within the Lasallian context is a witness, a witness to an alternative way of being in the world. A few years into the experiment, when the schoolmasters were starting to seek a more formal, stable arrangement with De La Salle, and with one another, at one of the regular gatherings, the schoolmasters decided, agreed to call themselves brothers. And this was a very deliberate and conscious choice. They wanted to highlight a familial bond among themselves, but they also wanted to be um, older brothers and remind each other that they needed to be older brothers to the young people entrusted with their care. Almost 10 years later, they also established the uh, commitment that they would be there for each other and for the mission, the vow of association. Again, something that we're very briefly introducing today and we'll have time to discuss with you further on uh, along your Lesayan journey. So as you can see, this Lesayan community, even in 2010-22, is still a response to a need, is still a, a means to achieve a great and just cause, and also a way of witnessing to others in the educational field but beyond another way of being in the world, another way of taking care of each other as sisters and brothers. Now, since September 2020, our District of Ireland, Great Britain and Malta has been developing this theme of the Sign community, our vision, our passion, our future, which is also the focus of this input. Every year in the last uh, two, three years, we've looked at one of those different elements. The Sign community, our vision, the Sign community, our passion, the Sign community, our future. Why are these important? The Sain community as our vision. Some years ago, a uh, former uh, Spear General and American brother, Brother Robert Cheater, wrote this to us. The Sain vision is seeing abundance where others see scarcity and bringing nourishment where there is none. This compels us to see beyond the moment, the apparent frailty and fragility of the human condition, the sense of helplessness that can paralyze us, 
It pushes us to see beyond all that. It calls us to see all within the eyes of faith. That's a phrase we love to use in the Zion family and goes back to the founder. But what does it mean? It's to look for wholeness within us and to see the best in people, to look at our students, to look at young people, to look at our colleagues and look at gifts and things that they can provide to the community as opposed to what they lack or what they need to be working on. And this is especially helpful in a moment of uncertainty. We sustain that vision through our passionate hard work, our zeal for mission. But we know that that is not enough. No one person can achieve that aspirational goal, that aspirational mission on their own. That appreciation is the bedrock of the Lasayan contribution to education. De La Salle's biggest innovation in education can be best embodied in the realization that the key to success and the endurance of this mission and vision lies in the strength of the community of like-minded persons who are committed to that sense of shared purpose, shared mission, a common goal. And indeed, for us the Salians, unity in community is, is a very precious gem. Our future, that wisdom and passion for education has been passed on to us in the form of the traditional apostolic brothers community. For over 300 years, the brothers com community has been the pulsating heart of our works, a source of inspiration and the witness of fellowship that was nurtured through the fraternal relationship its members sought among themselves, the relationships sought with the other educators they worked with, as well as those entrusted to their, to their care. Keeping in mind that at this present moment, the number of traditional brother communities actively involved or attached to a ministry are limited in our district. What new forms of Lasayan communities are emerging or will emerge? This is an important area that we need to keep our um, focus on as we uh, journey together in this new reality of the Lasayan mission, Lasayan family. And we know that it's not, it's not a question that we have an answer for yet, but it's one that we are actively involved in to continue to uh, explore uh, together with as many colleagues uh, around the district. So as we start concluding this uh, input, which is also the conclusion of this first series of uh, induction videos, there are some practicality about our community that we think it's the appropriate time to share with you. First of all is the role of animators, animation teams. Ask around in your school, see who your Lasayan animator at your school is or whether there's an Lasayan uh, animation team set up. Uh, get in touch with them, talk to them about this experience. They are most likely running it for you. Um, see if they need any help. Uh, we really appreciate you know, widening the tent as much as possible. Also keep an eye out for upcoming events, uh, CBDs and, and gatherings. If uh, you're an animator or a head of RE or uh, a chaplain in, in any of our schools, be on the lookout for the resources that we sent out to support you, but also the opportunities that we uh, put together to uh, bring you together so that you can inspire and support one another. Also, there are uh, CPDs available. Uh, there's one in Malta in August and uh, follow-up CPDs further on during the year in Castletown in Ireland and uh, Kinbury in the UK. And uh, last but uh, not least is the importance of communication. We can't be a community in the 21st century if we can't, if we are not in communication with each other. We need to know what, uh, sh sh we need to be able to share our good news. We need to be able to know when we need each other's support. So please, um, we encourage you to uh, use the newsletter that we send out as much as possible, both to share your good news, but also to stay in touch with what else is happening in the district. So with this, I think we can bring this uh, uh, input to a close. I hope that it's been a, a good process for you and we look forward to your feedback, which is one way um, for us to grow as a community. Uh, we value your feedback all the time and um, we look forward to meeting you in person, either in your school or at any of our uh, district events. Thank you so much. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.